The origin of modern humans has probably been the most debated issue in evolutionary biology over the last few decades. Our journey begins in Africa, where the roots of modern humans trace back to within the past 200,000 years. We share our ancestry with Homo erectus, our most likely recent common ancestor. But wait, what does Homo sapiens even mean? It translates to wise man in Latin, but our origins have long been shrouded in mystery. Historically, two models have vied for dominance, the out-of-Africa and multi-regional models. The out-of-Africa theory, our leading contender, suggests that Homo sapiens evolved in Africa before venturing across the globe. Genetic evidence paints a compelling picture supporting the out-of-Africa narrative. Africa boasts unparalleled genetic diversity, and the mitochondria, our cellular powerhouses, hold crucial clues. Mitochondrial Eve, a remarkable woman from 50,000 to 500,000 years ago, holds the key. Her mitochondrial DNA links her to all of us, but she wasn't alone. A bottleneck event likely occurred, nearly wiping out our species, leaving her DNA to flourish. Skull measurements and genetic studies further support the out-of-Africa model. As humans migrated further from Africa, genetic diversity decreased, indicating a single origin. The oldest known modern human remains, the Omo-1 and Omo-2 skulls, date back to a mere 195,000 years ago, highlighting our recent emergence. Early humans faced adversity when they ventured out of Africa. The eruption of Mount Toba in Sumatra caused a nuclear winter and a thousand-year ice age, pushing humans to the brink of extinction. Cooperation became crucial for survival, shaping our social behaviors and familial bonds. Between 80,000 and 50,000 years ago, a second wave of humans left Africa. These modern humans, with their newfound cooperative skills, succeeded in populating the entire world, eventually replacing earlier human species. He six billion people today share striking genetic similarities with these pioneers. Now let's talk about our distant cousins, the Neanderthals. These ancient humans once roamed Europe and Western Asia. They vanished from the fossil record around 28,000 years ago, possibly due to competition from modern humans. The question of Neanderthal genes in our genome intrigued scientists. Initial studies indicated little genetic overlap, but in 2010, the complete Neanderthal genome was sequenced. Surprisingly, it revealed interbreeding between Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. Some of us carry 1.5, 2.1% Neanderthal DNA, and it's not evenly distributed among all human populations. Today, we bear the legacy of our archaic ancestors. Neanderthal genes have left their mark, influencing our susceptibility to diseases like diabetes and shaping our ability to adapt to different environments and climates. And there you have it, folks. The thrilling tale of our evolutionary journey from the heart of Africa to the farthest corners of the world. Our genes are like time capsules, preserving the secrets of our past. If you found this video as mind-blowing as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the wonders of our world. Until next time, keep exploring and keep wondering.